Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you how to install an AM4 CPU. So the first thing you need to do is make sure, obviously, your a you've got an AM4 CPU socketed motherboard, which this one is. Um, and then you need to find the corner of the board, which has got a little arrow on it. And this one is here. And when I say a little arrow, it's quite small. Some of them can sometimes be painted in white, so they stand out. But that basically is a keyed corner basically so that will allow your CPU to fit in and the base on the CPU you will also have that same mark on your CPU and that mark goes into that corner otherwise if you do it another way it won't fit and you risk bending the pins on your motherboard so you get your processor which has got that um, basically arrow in the corner and that will push into that corner but first of all you get this little lever you push it away from the CPU slightly and pull it back. That basically unlocks it so it'll let you put the CPU in. Now very gently you get your CPU without touching the pins on the bottom because if you damage those pins you're going to struggle fitting it onto the motherboard and potentially destroy the CPU in the process. So if you've done this, if you've not done this before it can be a little bit unnerving. So you make sure you line up that corner with that corner and then you basically drop it down and you'll know when it's in because if you wiggle it it will not move in the socket once done you push this little lever down there and it clicks into place so it should go under a little plastic tab there which holds a lever so then the CPU is in firmly I'm just going to show you quickly how to attach a standard cooler to it, bear in mind different coolers are slightly different but the basics is the cooler has two clips which will go over these areas here that can be a little bit fiddly sometimes so but the basics is what you do you get your cooler and if you haven't already got thermal paste on the bottom of it which this one has you'll need to put thermal paste on the actual CPU or the bottom of the cooler and then basically you drop it down on top of the processor so it fits like that and you'll notice there's two clips either side one at the top one at the bottom now depending on how you're setting your machine up and how the cooler is you may find these clips might go the different way around but the basics is you clip one over the plastic on the end there then the other one will do the same on the other side which can be a little bit of a pain sometimes, but there you go, once it's in, it'll be in, but you'll notice it still moves. This is where you get the lever, and then pull the lever all the way over, and that tightens it in. Once you hear the click, that means it's attached. And the last thing you've got to do is get hold of your power cable, what goes to the fan on the CPU cooler, and plug it in to the correct position on your motherboard, which is usually marked with an icon what says CPU. 